for all the examples today, I'm going to be using a flat pick, about one millimeter thickness on average, equilateral triangle. So in playing the wapango, there's a few techniques that we use. Um, the first one that I'm going to discuss is the apagón, denoted by a note head with an X. Um, that's usually achieved by strumming and muting the strings with some other part of your hand, like the palm of your hand at the same time. Uh, it's usually done in a downward direction for this rhythm, for this genre. So down, you're uh, muting and striking at the same time. All in one motion. If you add a down up at the end of that, um, another two eighth notes, that's the second half of both measures of the wapango. They're exactly the same. Down, up. The first measure has an abanico, which is just essentially you open your hand, open your fingers, I should say, and then rake them across the surface of the string so that you get a more elongated uh, type of sound. It's not really a flourish, like where you open as you're going. It's, uh, you open to play and then you, recollect, you collect your fingers back in when, on, when you're coming back up. So that's usually preceded by a down strum. So let's connect that to the second half of the first measure. Again. Again. The second half of the wapango begins with an apagón. Then it has a, uh, a redoble, uh, which is a 16th notes, right? A down up down pattern. Let's connect that to the second half of the measure, which is up by one in the down direction, down up strum. Put both measures together now. I'm going to go really slow. One, two, 